name's John Norman, and I am banned from Jimmy John's. Jimmy John's came to my hometown, and the 24 hour Jimmy John's, which is the best thing that could ever happen to somebody that's drunk. So I've gotten this habit of calling Jimmy John's at 3 in the morning, drunk, and ordering a sandwich. Uh, I would call Jimmy John's at 3 in the morning and order nine sandwiches. Basically, I would order roughly $75 worth of deli meats on bread. Um, like very complicated orders, apparently. I don't remember any of this. Uh, I imagine the delivery guy that got the order was like super excited. He was like, I'm gonna get a big tip on this order. This is gonna be great. Problem is, is I would pass out. And I don't remember, I, would, I wouldn't even remember calling Jimmy John's, but I would pass out. Um, and the Jimmy John's driver would get to my house and I would, would beat on my door for 30 minutes and no one would show up. And finally one got smart enough to beat on my window a little bit, which did wake me up in a drunken, belligerent, whiskey drunk rage. And I decided to treat the Jimmy John's driver like a home invader. And uh, that did not go over well with the Jimmy John's. Uh, but I wasn't really aware of it. I knew something bad happened the night before, but other than that, I didn't know. I didn't hurt anybody. Uh, I would call Jimmy John's from this point on, and they would just hang up the phone once they got my address and phone number. So I was like, what's the deal, guys? So I went into Jimmy John's and uh, realized the problem. Above the phone was a piece of paper with my number and address on it, and it said in big, bold letters, do not deliver. Like somebody put a lot of time into this, like they doodled the letters out, shaded them, you know, like you do in, when you're bored. Uh, so it was a very pronounced sign. Um, the bad thing is, is Jimmy John's uh, banning me from being delivered to was the worst thing they could have done because now three o'clock in the morning, drunk John was coming to Jimmy John's, uh, which proved to be a problem too. Uh, the first thing, um, again, a lot of this stuff I don't remember, uh, this, this particular instance I do not remember, but apparently I took the sign outside Jimmy John's of free smells, literally, and uh, came into Jimmy John's and began to walk around the store and go, <sighs> and state that uh, those, these free smells are killer. And, uh, the authorities were called, I did not get arrested, luckily. Um, and that didn't go over well, they asked me to leave. I didn't ever bought a sandwich. Uh, and then the other time, this is one that I vaguely remember, and I remember being in a bad mood. Um, I went into the Jimmy John's and demanded that they make me a hot dog sandwich. I live in Chicago and they do make hot dog sandwiches. And I gotta be honest, uh, Jimmy John's is right for not making hot dog sandwiches because they're not that great, but it's a novelty thing. And at the time, I wanted a hot dog sandwich. Uh, the authorities once again were called. Uh, I was placed in handcuffs, but uh, they let me go for some magical reason. This is like six years uh, ago. Sure so I moved to Chicago to Jimmy John's that night. back in August. And uh, I'm looking for jobs. I'm a comedian, so I need a job where I have free hours, free nights, and like I can sleep late if I'm out late the night before. So I was going around looking at jobs. I couldn't get a job anywhere. And there's a Jimmy John's down the street. I had delivery driving experience. I go into Jimmy John's, have a great conversation with the owner, uh, manager, I'm sorry, not owner. And he's like, man, you sound great. Just fill out all, all this information and we'll, uh, I'll get back to you. Uh, so I fill out this long application, uh, kiss a lot of ass and go home thinking, hey, I got this job and no phone call for three days. So I decided to go in there and see what the deal is. So I walk into Jimmy John's, talk to the same manager. I say, hey man, what's the deal? Uh, not that mean, but I was like, what's the deal? What's the, uh, I thought I was gonna hear back from you. He was like, well, John, um, one thing, there's this, there's this, uh, there's this, it's in our system. I guess Jimmy John's has a system. Uh, you are, uh, red flagged as a troublesome customer and he's like I can't hire you in right mind uh, for this job knowing your history uh, with our 
brand or Jimmy John's in general. Like I really hope there's a report because I don't remember it all, but I really hope there was a report where the the uh, Senate's uh, customer demanded hot dog sandwich is in there. Like that would be great. Also. Um, I found other sandwich shops. Uh, if Jimmy John's ever sees this, I would love to talk it out and see what's going on. Um, I really do like your business. Hey, that the free smells do come with a price, though, and that price is sadness. I would really like, you know, maybe just like uh, the uh, Bootlegger Club. I think that's one I really like. So, um, yeah. So that's my story.